with the final score. Albany State 31, Savannah State 20. Dwayne Walker along with Todd Quarter. What a fantastic ball game. Time now to set up our Georgia power play of the game. It came late in the contest. JT Hardage trying to scramble, looking for a receiver. Oops, he drops the football. And Johnny on the spot, Malik Barnes, who takes the football into the end zone. And it ended up being the decisive play in the game. That's our Georgia power, power play of the game. Let's take a look at the highlights. First in the first half. Speaking of fumbles, Savannah State. At their own goal line, Stefan Pierre picks it up and Jayquez Williams will plow in from one yard out to make it 7-0. Savannah State answered with some special teams trickery. Putter Henry Tomei scrambles and picks up a first down to keep the drive alive. A few plays later, JT Hardish finds Demarion Colbert for a 43-yard catch and run for a touchdown to tie the score at seven. Gilbert Brown's 26-yard field goal gave the Golden Rams a 10-7 lead. Albany State would then expand on that bolt thanks to some fantastic defense. Watch this right here. Blake! What a defensive effort. In the second half, let's take a look. Joe Shorter on the return, and he gets well, he eventually gets right here, stripped by the Savannah State special teamers. Now we get a look in the air. That pass is complete to Taylor, Tyree Taylor. And then a few plays later, Rashad Jordan scores his first touchdown of the game. Adams, it will be picked off by Brandarius Hawkins. Sullivan is sacked by Newble. Both teams having a hard time of holding on to the football. There's a block. It'll be returned 40 yards for a touchdown. Jordan Clark. Unfortunately, the extra point was no good. It made the score 17-13. And how about that guy, Jaquez Williams, over 150 yards rushing tonight. Sullivan will find Jordan for his second touchdown of the afternoon, fourth on the season. That put Albany State up 23-13, but look, the angler won. <laughs> Deshaun Mitchell, 36-yard touchdown reception, set up this five-yard score by JT Hardage. And then, on this last play, a critical mistake. One of five fumbles by Savannah State recovered by Malik Barnes, and that ended up being the play of the game. How about those stats, Todd? Two things stick out to me when you only run the football for 38 yards, an average of 1.2 yards a carry, and you fumble the football five times, and two of them inside your own 10-yard line, and your opponent scores two touchdowns, that's the difference in the football game. Savannah State, if they don't fumble it, they most likely win it because their defense surely played well enough to win this game. So, Albany State wins it by a score of 31 to 20 over Savannah State. They improved to six and two. Savannah State falls to three and five. Good night, everybody.